morning, um, Saturday, 4th of May, I think it is, and today we're in Buttermere. And we are aiming to do four boy and rights, possibly five, um, including high style red pike, high crag, and haystacks, uh, nine and a half miles, and it's uh, likely to take us six, hours. six to six and a half hours, or possibly ten if we go at Joe's pace. Oh. <laughs> well, was it you this morning, aren't you? And that's fleet with pike in front of us, which we could also take in, but that really would be ten hours. So uh, we'll stick with what we've got. So contrary to what Rick told you before, here we are on Saturday the 3rd of May, not bank holiday Monday the 5th of May, but uh, it wouldn't be us if we didn't have a blooper within the first two minutes of footage. Anyway, here we are at uh, just at the base of Buttermere. Ever's piece was barely a mark on it this morning. A bit like Piccadilly Circus at the moment, but hopefully we'll lose a lot of these people later on, but uh, pretty lovely view this morning. So, hopefully we should be in for quite a nice day. Still plodding up. It's been a proper uh, straight into it, this one. And it gets more scary when you just realise we're on this path and you just go, oh, it just keeps going up. It has been right from the start. But a uh, good workout for a Saturday morning. It's nice to be out again. Had a little break because uh, <clears throat> we've been waiting for Rick's new car to arrive, so we managed to bring that out for a little drive up the motorway today as well. So, good day and all. All I need now is for the villa to beat Hull this afternoon and uh, make us safe from relegation. I'm having a damn fine weekend. And this is us coming up to Bleebury Town. Is about halfway up our ascent up that path there you see people on the ridge that's where we're heading Mac is trying out his new poles today he's got some Fizan compacts we'll let you know how we get on with them in a couple of weeks when we've done a few big walks but uh, for now it's a, another new bit of kit just to try out I've got some as well uh, just to avoid any problems coming down that I had the other week um, which hopefully they might help for that so, finally climbed all the way up from the lake and weighing right number one of the day. Coming up to bag it now, which is red pike. So that's the first one. Another four or five to do, but that's one in the bag. Go and see the view off, is it? It's like Piccadilly Circus up here. <clears throat> Beautiful view. There you go, done. There's Buttermere in the distance, right over down there. There's my pub. It's got my pint of cider ready in the cupboard somewhere. So, still on route up to High Style, and then I think we're going to, once we've done that, try and do another half hour and then go and find somewhere for lunch. Chilly today. With with added chilli powder. Mm, just how much have you added? <laughs> Wind power. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Might want to stay up wind. Beautiful. Uh, here is High Style, which Rick's just making his way towards. That's our second weighing rate of the day, which I do believe makes that our 60 second. There you go. Number two, it's going right to the top. <laughs> yeah, done. <laughs> Beautiful view from up here, lovely, really nice. So we've just stopped on the top of High Style for our lunch. As you can see, not a lot to see around us. Have a nice view behind you. Lunch is chili. Chili, chili. With beans and extra chili. <laughs> with extra beans and extra chili. Oh dear, it's going to be fun on the way down, isn't it? <laughs> so, 
of you over the back. Right, let's see what this tastes like. That's uh, number three high crag. Done. Really lovely views up here. It has been, I uh, highly recommend this walk for the views. It's been awesome. Look at that, it's stunning. The wind's up again though, so we've got a bit of biting, uh, biting wind. But uh, apart from that, we're all right. Just looking back after a little break, and that really is a steep old descent. Never shows it on the camera, but you can get the scale going straight up from the lake there, and then that's a sheer face coming down off it. It's totally bonkers. But uh, we're carrying on now. We finally got to our last uh, weighing right of the day. Number four, and that'll be our 64th. And it's haystacks, here too known as giant haystacks, because that was uh, some big steps up there for little people such as ourselves, VCPs, vertically challenged people. Yeah, done. 64 Wainwrights, and now we've just got to get down in one piece again. That's good. I recommend this walk to anybody. If you want the details, just, just give us a shout and we'll send it to you. It's fabulous. There we go, summit of haystacks with Buttermere and Crummock water in the distance. Great Gable, windy gap where we failed on our uh, snowy trip out in, when was it, February? Uh, pillar on this side. Um, great views. It's just starting to cloud over a bit now and uh, there's spots of rain but uh, hopefully it'll stay off. Um, I think that's Inanimate Tarn um, where Wainwright's ashes are, are spread um, but I'm not 100% certain. So we'll have a look when we get down there now, we're going past there now. Okay? Yay. Oh goody, my favourite part of any walk. Water and stepping stones. We all know how good I am at these things. That's Rick across safely. Oh, I could almost take a bow. Over safely, hopefully. I think we're on the last bit now, so. See you later. So this has been our descent down. You can barely see the path, but it's running sort of halfway up there. And uh, it's pretty tough because it's sort of scree all the way down, loose scree. So proper leg burner. And we're both uh, we're both uh, very red and sweaty. Um, but uh, almost there now. Flat run down to the lake, and then hopefully it should be flat all the way around the lake, back to Buttermere. And a pint. I just really need one now really need a pint. <laughs> to cool down. <laughs> Definitely not a hot chocolate day now. Although by the time we get there, it might be dark and raining, and we might need one. <laughs> <laughs> so we're now down on the road. Finally, on the level. We just got a few hundred meters of the road till we get down towards the lake and there, and then we duck left onto a. Oops, let's go again onto a path that runs along the lake um, taking us back up to Buttermere. Just walking down there, it's been a nice flat path now just going round the edge of the lake we're nearly finished, I can see the end of the lake that's a happy face! <laughs> <laughs> right, you want to get to that end. Just up there is the end of the lake and uh, I've earned a packet of crisps and a, and a pint it's been a monster so here we are, finally. I think we've been out about nine hours on a walk that was only supposed to be six. We've either got slower, or that was a particularly bad piece of instructions. And that was uh, a damn fine day out. Back down in Buttermere village now. I'm just gonna go and find ourselves a quick pint and then head off back to Manchester. 
There we go, back to the fish and uh, the car park, which is just down the back. Before we go to the car, we're going to go and grab a pint, if they'll serve us. <laughs> so we might be a bit smelly. So the stats were we did uh, 11.15 miles today, uh, 8 hours and 21, um, actual walking time. It was uh, very muggy, mild and uh, hard work, but thoroughly enjoyed it. And that's it now until next week. Cheers! That's better!